Deals playing with? If it is, it is. he did detect Shazam going across the side of it. Now, the thing is, Shazam, when he comes across this corner, yeah, he's not going to be expecting steel yep. directly 12 o'clock right in front of you through that doorway. And I was thinking that if he did push into into the kitchen, he would either be pre-firing left or pre-firing right so that steel would just have him broadsided. So now we're just down to nothing. And this is going to be a costly round for Ghost Gaming, but nothing at least has a chance here, though the bomb has been forfeit quite some time ago. Yes, that was a massive push towards the upper B from Steel. Gives his team total control of the round while everybody's getting fragged out on other parts. Neptune now should be able to pick up this frag. Oh, no! Nothing able to take him down. Steel does end up with the cleanup. A nice 3k on the round from him. But still, a very scary round in general coming wow. out for Ghost Gaming. I'm, I'm actually stop, yeah. really surprised. I mean, we've talked about how the dominant rounds have existed, but finally won, like, Ghost Gaming are, are forced down to a, what was a 1v1. Action out of him. Going to pick up that frag towards lower. Wardell making a little bit of contact. Jumping on ticket booth and is punished by Shazam here. As Freakazoid does take down Stanislaw to turn this into a 1v2. Yeah. With but, nothing in spawn and Shazam in sight. But Stanis got that kill with a MAC-10. That that might be the deal breaker for Ghost because this is a lot for Freakazoid to be able to come back from. The bomb's been planted near the default position, but I don't think he anticipates that nothing is Ooh. back towards CT. Or yes, he does. Throws the Molotov, now starts to clear out his angles with the use of this utility. This bomb being planted, there's only so many places it could be. Choose either CT or Palace when he touched that bomb. He chose the higher side of it and <gasps> ended up paying dearly for it. Yeah, you can see the emotion on him after losing that round. Wasn't too happy about that. You almost yeah, had an idea. In the first half, Ghost Gaming very much struggled in the 2v2 scene. As a matter of fact, I don't think they won a single one of them. But now it's even easier. Death taking down Wardell. He knows where the final member is. Freakazoid just got a kill from that position. And, and Death lost. is also going to pick up Freakazoid now. That was a great little round out of complexity there. It was a great strat out of Ghost Gaming as well. Unfortunately, that cat hold was a tremendous effort from Def, who ends up with the round, with a 3K on the round, to bring complexity within one of taking this to OT. Yeah, nice 2v1 clutch right there for Def. Three kills on the round total. Now spotting Def, getting a couple headshots in. He does get the kill, but he is instantly traded out. Wardell fires off a warning shot and is caught by Shazam. Catwalk control still held by complexity. Bomb will be planted. Cat, you've got three players on that side. This is going to be so difficult to nice unwind. Shooting. And it does appear like complexity are going to take this one. Kusta, 1v4. And there's so much presence on Catwalk for him to be able to overcome. Yeah, unfortunately for Ghost Gaming there, they decided to gamble stack towards that B area. Shazam does take down Kusta there to make this first map go the way of complexity. This was their pick as well, though, Dallas. So this is a little bit harder than I do think they anticipated. But nonetheless, they pull it off 19 to 16. Kusta topping the topping the board. So hopefully we get to see a, a different take on this. Def is a little bit overstepping Ooh. his bounds, and it's a faster play from Kusta, but Neptune's ahead of the Molotov while Kusta's behind it, and Def, Def swings out, getting two frags, disarming both of them. They were supposed to be working together on that entry, but the Molotov was perfect. Divide and conquer is Def, and, and looking another. for more, and that's bombed down too. Here comes the cavalry, cavalry, the reinforcements. Def looking for Freakazoid now. He spots Freak, actually, as Wardell does take one down towards that A bomb site. Death now onto his fourth. We'll be looking for the ace as Wardell comes down. Death gets the ace here. A great A defense there from the bathroom area. And that's going to tie the game up five apiece. Nice. Well played, Death for his team. Yeah. Mollies are coming his way, too, so I doubt they're going to smoke off that short to try and push this. They'll just wait it out. Oh, what a Ooh. pop flash and a half. Nothing with a three-man wow. spray down and make it a Four. fourth as well. That's the end of the round. Salute Stanislaw for the pop flash that just managed to train wreck them. Four players caught up in that short tunnel due to the mall. ...outside as they previously were. As a matter of fact, it's just Def out here, and he's in the secret stairs region just holding an off angle. Freakazoid's about to crouch his way into a disaster. And there it is. It's a one-two punch right to the dome. And Def has all the room in the world because of the T's smoke for Secret Stairs to actually retreat. Ooh, or not go able, ahead. Yeah, he wasn't <laughs> able to spot Def as that smoke starts to fade. So Def picking up his second on the round. A couple good rounds from Def here will give complexity a five on three advantage here. You know that that uh, continually rolling the dice idea. Oh, oh what a spray goodness. down depth. Four kills on the round, looking for the ace. Neptune, Let's see if they go that far. I mean, getting all the way to the ladder is, is really aggressive. 
multiple flashbang up and over the boards. Steel up front is the Ooh. first casualty. Does this put a bad taste in Ghost's mouth? Do they give it and call it quits? They do not. Now it's still starting to look like it's an upturned capsized ship, especially with Def picking up a multitude of frags. Three kills for him all outside, single-handedly putting this one in the books, it looks like. Neptune as well is about to get wrapped on. Def has this all day. Still working towards this ace. Def now one more kill between him and this ace right now. Kusta, well, he's above him looking down. Is Def able to pick it up? Okay. So the outside aggressive call, outside aggressive call from Steel there doesn't pay off. They push up. They try to get under that Twinkie area. Not able to do so. Def hitting some great shots. He's been playing phenomenal throughout this map right now on 20 frags here. All right. Kusta is not going to have much to say about this, that the bomb's been planted in the lower site. And the ace is still possible. Def is just in the locker rooms right now. or just outside of it. And Kusta's straight up. So it's still, still on the boards. Man, they are just avoiding each other. There's the shadow. Uh-oh. That's the A. Nice. Well played by Def. Phenomenal ace out of Def there. That's exactly what he needs. I mean, starting off with two great kills towards the outside area, picking up a few more as